Hello, everyone. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading *The Voting Home*, written by Catherine Chung, illustrated by Maria Junia. A fight broke out one morning at home, with shrieking, sobs, and an awful moan. "What's this?" asked Mommy with raised eyebrow. Two kids yell to be heard right now. Let's play kitchen. I want to cook. No arts and crafts. Let's make a book. Mommy said, "There are two points of view, so let's have a vote on what to do." What's that? Asked the kids, settling in. A vote's how we choose which idea will win. First, each party says why it's the best. Tell us why you're better than the rest. The candidates planned on what to say, full of hope they would win the day. With apron on and spatula high, the first candidate yelled, "Food's fun to cut or fry!" The voters clapped long and loud. The chef raised his arm and took a bow. Next, the artist came onto the stage. Choose paint, tape, scissors, words on a page. The crowd cheered after the speech. Brush twirling, she danced out of reach. Campaign's done. Mommy prepared each ballot. All heads turned when she tapped her mallet. Make your choice, she instructed each voter. We'll count the ballots when voting's over. The voters thought, then chose their picks. Some were not sure how to make their ticks. They put the five votes side by side. Mommy sighed. Some must be cast aside. One broke the rules and checked both boxes. One only has doodles of some foxes. Which will win with the most remaining votes? There is one for art, one for food, and one with notes. That right in ballot said, "Naps are great." Who would write that at half past eight? The eldest asked, "So now are we done?" Mommy laughed. "Yes, three-way tie. All three won." Why was a nap even suggested? I don't need sleep. A girl protested. We allow write-ins. Mommy soothed with a grin, though it's true they usually don't win. Next, the doodler piped up to say, "I didn't vote, but should have today. There's no need to regret or frown. Show up next time. Don't let your team down." There was only peace the rest of the day, thanks to the voting that paved the way. Much later, the children began to snore, and Mommy finally closed the door. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.